Hello guys and welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer project videos and this video purpose of this video is just a quick test video to show the LFO core board which is here there is a, another revision on its way to me which is a, a version 1.1 I did make a few mistakes but it's pretty much 97 percent okay there's a few little things bits and pieces that I missed out that to be honest with you it's still functioning very well so all I'll do is in the second half of this video I will just show you a quick test video what I'm going to be doing is testing this via uh, mini brute so I'm going to send the control voltage in from the FO to the mini brute we have three controls here we've got a range this is hooked up to the range so we can add another capacitor in in parallel to give us a lower range the first part on this side is the rates control and the last one over here is the depth control so we give positive if I just flip this over so what we what I have here is positive modulation going in one side, negative in the other. When you turn the pot to about the middle position, it zeroes out the control voltage. So it acts as a depth control pot as well. When we have positive and negative modulation, can we can flip the the waveform around? That way, I didn't have to have two different ramp waves. I could just use one ramp ramp wave. So we got a ramp wave, triangle, a uh, pulse. We got a sine and the sample and hold, also known as a random. And what over here, I've built a noise generator here just to be able to test the um, random wave because you need to feed the sample and hold straight random wave the random control, the random control voltage. And we use the pulse wave stroke square wave as the LFO clock signal. So, and what happens is that random wave will get, or the clock wave will get sa sampled, held in a timing capacitor. But the random the voltages will come out random. I, sorry, I can't explain too much technical in depth of how that works because I actually don't don't know it down to a T. I don't want to give you false guys false information. Anyway, in a nutshell, it's all working good. I'm going to show you a quick video. Like I said in the second half of this video, I will show you this all working on the scope, and you can hear this in audio as well. All right. Anyway, catch you on the other side.